Feral Daryl plays. Join my Roblox group, the Cedar Crew, today to be an official Cedar Crew member. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Overlook Bay video. Today, it is I, the Feral Daryl that plays, and today I will be showing y'all four features that y'all may not know about in Overlook Bay. Just real quick, I would like to say, some people might know these, might know all four of them, but most of the players who play Overlook Bay do not know that these features or even pets exist in the game. So please watch to the end and see what all four of the hidden secrets in Overlook Bay are. Before the video gets started, I would just like to tell y'all thank you, thank you, thank you for my previous video's huge success. I would love to have more and more videos to have success like that in the future. So, let's go right in to this video. The four features that people may not know about Overlook Bay. Let's get started. Number one. Okay, this feature most people know, but in Overlook Bay, there are three kinds of fish. Ocean fish, river fish, and pond fish. Right now in Overlook Bay, there is only one pond that is not completely frozen over, and that is this one in the neighborhood. It is the only pond in the entire Overlook Bay where you can get these pond fish currently, now that it's winter time. So there are many fish that you can get. Already I got an uncommon gar. This is a new fish to me because I also did not know this pond existed and pond fish existed before I researched all of these things up. So, okay, un a regular common shadow fish. That is pretty awesome. I have not got that before. It is only common, but it is new to me. So that is pretty cool. So I'm going to keep fishing and show y'all just some of the fish I could get. So this one is a legendary catfish. That's pretty awesome. Legendary catfish. All right. Let's see what else we get. We're going to catch one or two more fish. Let's see what this fish is. It is a, another common shadow fish. Okay, that is all right. That's fine. I'm going to um, I'm going to walk towards the next um, event. But seriously, this is the coolest feature ever, that there is a hidden lake right there, and there are pond fishes, pond or lake fishes. And because of that, we can get three types of fish in Overlook Bay. The ocean fish, the river fish, and the pond slash lake fish. All those fish are all different. We can catch them all during the different times of the day and also in different places. Let's get on to number two on the list. Number two. So this one is quite simple. This one had to do with the Christmas update this year, the holiday update with the holiday train. So the Overlook Station is right over here and I would like to show y'all one hidden little secret that y'all may not have known about. So, the Overlook Station is right over here where it's always been. Now I would like to show you a little secret with the train tracks. So, when you got into the train, in the train, the animation showed you driving across the train tracks. The train tracks were these exact train tracks, and the portal to the Christmas Village is over there, straight in that mountain. I'll go closer and closer and show y'all where exactly that portal was. So right there is the portal where you would teleport to the new Christmas city. Number three. This one is a Roblox only trick. Robux only trick and most people don't know about it still. I seriously didn't know about this until I bought it. So um, the VIP club. That is one thing on its own of what I did not know. I did not know there was a VIP club in Overlook Bay because I never explored the neighborhood. The VIP club is in the neighborhood as soon as you enter this portal to the right. So this costs Robux. Of course I'll buy it for you. Okay, I got the VIP club. So this is what it looks like right here. 
and I'm not quite sure what's inside and what you get for it. So I'm going to buy the VIP club. Uh, it's a game pass under game passes. Click and it costs 495 Robux. That's not bad. So I'm going to buy it for y'all in a minute and show y'all what exactly I get from the VIP in Overlook Bay. Here you go, 495. I'm going to buy now, okay? And I'm going to go inside. So I got a thousand free gems just for that. That's pretty awesome. So with the VIP club, you also get the VIP tag in the chat, which is pretty cool, but there's something cooler. You'll have to wait and see. Okay, so here's the VIP areas. In my inventory, I got a free pet right here, Alien Koala. The alien koala is a pet exclusive to VIP owners. You cannot trade this pet and you cannot give away this pet. This pet is exclusively for VIP people. So here's some luxurious items. I will buy all of them. I'll buy one of each. That is quite awesome. Just to show everyone, I will buy them. So all of this stuff is only exclusive to the people that spend Robux on the VIP area. So this is in itself is really cool and it's a hidden feature that I did not know but the alien koala is the only secret pet in the game right now. Most people do not even know that the alien koala exists and you only get the alien koala by purchasing the VIP and you get it for free when you purchase the VIP area. I am hoping that in the future the VIP area will offer us more stuff, more perks, and more all kinds of stuff. Games, mini games, more way to get gems, but we'll have to see for the future. Okay, let's get into the last hidden feature. Number four. This last hidden secret is back over in the Overlook Bay main area in this city. This feature is not really hidden to most people, but this is the best and efficient way to get the most gems in Overlook Bay. This way you get the most gems, but it does take a long time to profit off of this. So the best way is to get seed packets. The peach seeds sell for 25 gems themselves. And you can buy seeds for 1,000 gems. So I'm going to show you all the resale price and sell all of my fruit I've got today and the day before. But this is not the point. The point and the hidden feature is the packets. The seed packets are the best way to go. You buy these, plant these in your backyard of the house. However, only certain houses have a backyard for you to plant it. I think every house except the starter house has this ability. So as soon as you get enough gems, buy a slightly bigger house like I did so you can put the seed packets in the backyard and eventually grow into fruit trees that you can profit of. You can collect the fruit trees each day and you can have them each day and collect between two and three fruits every single day. So I'm trying to find a spot for the seed packets to go and it looks like there's some yellow spots over here to put them in. So I'm gonna put it on there and the tree grows in one day. In this video I'm only doing one seed packet because I have three trees already. But if I were you, I would spend all your bells on peach seed packets. I would not do any other fruit. Don't do any other fruit because the peach seed packets profit you the most in the shortest amount of time and it still profits you even after you profit. So it is the best way. You can make your, all of your gems back in about two weeks or three weeks of getting the fruit every day and then after that that's free gems that you will not be getting for free. So there you go. That is the four ways and the four tips and tricks that you still don't know about Overlook Bay. Which one did you like the most? My personal favorite was Alien Koala. I hope that all of these features in Overlook Bay you did not know about and you learned something new because it's always important to learn something new. So 
Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Share your friends with this channel because at 50 subscribers, I will be doing a huge giveaway. So please tell you and all of your friends to subscribe. Comment your username below to enter the Valentine's Day giveaway. I'll be giving away more pets on Valentine's Day, but the pets will be announced later. Thank you for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye.